Hey everyone, good morning from Langkawi. Um, and this morning we are eating breakfast. Uh, we took a drive over to a restaurant called uh, Nasi Dagang Pak Malau. Um, and the food is incredibly good. So I have actually, I will actually edit and make a full video about this restaurant because this restaurant deserves it. Um, the food is incredibly good and the owner is very, very nice and kind. I'll just show a quick preview of the food here. Um, and other than that, we are gonna cruise around today, Langkawi, and do some more activities. Just finished eating that nasi dagang. That was absolutely delicious. Uh, I loved every single bite. Um, and the owner and his family and his wife are all extremely, extremely kind. Uh, so I wanna say a huge thank you uh, to them. And also this atmosphere here is beautiful. You can come here, kinda sit in the parking lot, um, well, which is right next to the the rice field with the view of the mountains in the background. This is just countryside dining in Langkawi at its finest. This is an amazing snack called karas, and it looks like a batter, which she has in a coconut shell, and then she, there's a hot pan, a hot wok of oil at the bottom. She puts the batter into the coconut shell and just kind of like shakes it, so it just sort of um, falls out into the oil in little tiny, like, very strands of dough um, and batter, and then into the oil, and then it deep fries into a, like a, like a noodle pancake, but crispy, and then she holds it over like a taco, and this is the snack, but the process of making it is really interesting. It almost looks like a, um, a package of, of instant noodles, ramen. Wow, that is extremely crispy. Um, oh, it tastes almost like a waffle, but extremely crispy. Oh, almost like a fortune cookie. We were supposed to go parasailing yesterday, but it was rainy weather, so we didn't go. So it is looking sunny right now, and we are heading over to go parasailing right now. the air this is this is amazing I didn't I never thought it would be this fun and oh I think we're going higher we're getting higher and higher I'm definitely shaking a little bit but this is a beautiful view up here if I look down I get a little bit of a, a chills We just got back from the parasailing. That was unbelievably fun. Um, my heart is still beating pretty hard, uh, but we were in the air for 10 minutes, and they said we went up 200 meters out on the line. And I gotta tell you that I am really not a heights guy. I'm usually quite afraid of heights, but that was just amazing, being above the water and seeing the view from above while just being so peaceful. That was awesome. So huge thank you to Nam Water Sports uh, here in Langkawi. I really enjoyed that. After parasailing, we just stopped by at the craft complex, which is a big uh, kind of shopping center for handicrafts. And they have things here from all over Malaysia. We are at the Marty Agro Technology uh, Park, which is a farm. I think it's an or organic farm here in Langkawi. And it's a fruit farm and vegetable farm, but we are taking a little truck uh, trolley around and seeing the fruit trees. This is a mangosteen, but it is still green, not ripe yet. When it's ready to eat, it will turn kind of like blackish purple. Okay, here is a, uh, a little rose apple right off the tree. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's sour and sweet and very juicy. Okay, this is a fruit called, in Thai it's called jambada, and in 
English, I think it's called Chempadak. Um, but this is an awesome fruit and it's similar to jackfruit, but it has a stronger, more like honey flavor. <laughs> After driving around the farm and looking at the trees for a little while, then you get dropped off at this, the fruit buffet where you can try some of the different fruits available. Um, but they're seasonal, so you gotta, it depends on what season you come, depending on what fruit you can get. Purple dragon fruit. It's like a kiwi fruit. Not quite as sweet and just really, really juicy. Star fruit. Mm. Always a juicy fruit. Not too sweet, but just juicy and sour. It has been a very busy morning. We've done lots of activities and been running around, but we're just now stopping for lunch at a restaurant called Restaurant Siti Fatima. And they serve nasi champur, which are, uh, you get a plate of rice, and then actually this is a self-service um, restaurant, so you just go up to the front and you select and dump on, spoon on whatever dishes look good um, onto your rice. So I chose a couple of different fish curries and an egg and some vegetables and then some sambal chili sauce. Um, and we're here kind of after lunch, so there wasn't as much of a selection as right at lunch, but the food is still looking good. And this is one of my favorite styles of eating. I think that must be tuna. Mm. Mm. That curry is a little bit sweet um, and spicy. Mm. Or the spice is coming from that, that like salsa over there, I think. Um, there are chilies and tomatoes and onions mixed there. This is, in English, it's called jenkol. Um, in Thai, it's called luk nyang. These are like big stink beans. Mmm. That is extremely crisp. Um, it's like a... It's kind of like a very, very crisp green bean, but with a stink bean flavor to it. And just some random leaves and herbs, which I have no idea what they are. But it's very common to eat curry and have some green kind of leaves and vegetables on the side. Whoa. Oh, that one almost has like a licorice flavor to it. Lunch was delicious. I am always extremely happy when I can eat rice and curry uh, for breakfast or lunch or dinner or any time of the day. The different types of curries and rice and vegetables and sauces and chilies is one of my favorite meals in the world. It is about 4.30 p.m. right now, and we are on our way for a sunset cruise tonight. So we are driving to the beach, we're gonna catch the boat, and I hope the weather will be clear so we have a nice sunset. Thank you very much. Okay, we are just setting off on the cruise now. Uh, the boat is, is a beautiful boat, um, and so far, good weather. The sea is pretty calm and just the views are already getting to be amazing. But this boat is ridiculously awesome. Um, I don't think I've ever been on a boat this nice before. Yeah, I, know, I definitely have never been on a boat this nice before. Oh, okay. is set up buffet style on the top of the deck and the sun is beautiful now and I just got a plate of food. Um, looks like this is some satay, um, there's some squid, he said langkawi kat squid, some pasta, some vegetables. Let me start with a, a beef satay. That peanut sauce is quite sweet um, and the beef has like a, like a lemongrass flavor to it, some kind of chicken. It has like a little bit of a, a spice blend um, marinade and then I think maybe it's grilled, I'm not sure. 
um, and a little bit of a like lime flavor as well. We are arriving back to port now. I am doing some extreme relaxing. Um, that was a beautiful sunset this evening. Uh, the food was okay, not fantastic, but I think it was really all about being on this luxury boat um, and just chilling, chilling out, um, enjoying the the view and the sunset, and just yeah, just ultimate relaxation. To continue the relaxation, we are now at the saltwater jacuzzi here in Langkawi, and this is a natural saltwater uh, hot water spring, and this is a. Uh, We've got a private room here, so this is like a, well, all privacy, a walled-in room with our own jacuzzi. And they say the water has health, therapeutic properties as well. And it's actually very salty. I can just taste the salt water, but this is, this is some ultimate relaxation. That was an excellent way to end the day with even more relaxation. I am feeling so relaxed. I'm probably gonna fall asleep as soon as I finish um, recording this video right in the car. I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Uh, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video tomorrow.